Hi everybody, it's Sharon. Today's lesson is Eclampus Vitus and their greatest practical joke. Eclampus Vitus is a men's organization that loves California history and drinking and possibly not in that order. They were founded in 1845 in West Virginia and the Gold Rush brought some of those members out to California where they formed their own chapter. Eclampus Vitus is dog Latin. And I don't know what it means, but I know they call each other clampers, and the leader of all the clampers is called the Grand Humbug. They have meetings and activities where they joke and spoof. Their objective is supposedly to take care of widows and orphans, but especially the widows. Also, they put up plaques around California with obscure details of California history, like this one in Hillsboro that tells about the last stagecoach robbery, and this other one in San Francisco that tells about the invention of a slot machine. Along the way, they've got thousands of members, including prominent names like President Grant, Horatio Alger, Gene Autry, the singing cowboy, and no less a personage than the head of the Bancroft Library, Herbert Bolton. The Bancroft Library at UC Berkeley is a preeminent California historical library. Sir Francis Drake was an English pirate explorer who sailed around the world for Queen Elizabeth I on his ship, the Pelican, later rechristened the Golden Hind. We know he set foot on the Farallon Islands and later spent five weeks in what is now known as Drake's Bay near Point Reyes. In memoirs of the voyage published by Chaplain Fletcher in 1628, he claims to have erected a brass plate at his landing site, claiming the land for England and naming it New Albion. Unfortunately, that plate was never found, at least not until 1936, when a passerby found a plate in Marin County. It looked kind of old. His friends told him to bring it to Herbert Bolton at the Bancroft Library to identify it. When Bolton first saw the brass plate, he was astonished. It fit the description exactly. There was even a hole where there was supposed to be a sixpence coin with Queen Elizabeth's likeness. He notified the university and then the newspapers, the historical society, and he urged the finder to sell it to the university and not too cheaply either. He got $3,500 for it, which is like $62,000 today. Metallurgic specialists at Columbia College verified that the brass was authentic. In 1939, the plate was displayed at the World's Fair in San Francisco. New textbooks included information about Sir Francis Drake and the plate. Then, in 1977, the 400th anniversary of Drake's voyage approached. Researchers at UC Berkeley decided to test the metal again with newer equipment and more modern techniques. They discovered that the plate was a fake. Fortunately, Burton had died in 1953, so he didn't hear that news. Still, there was a mystery about this artifact. Who would have done this and why? In 2002, the hoax was revealed. Some of Burton's fellow clampers had decided to play a joke on him. They knew how eager he was to locate the original plate, so they created an exact image using some brass fittings from a ship, chiseling the message with fake Elizabethan spelling and words, darkening it with ash, and offering a clue on the back, which was the initials ECV written in transparent fluorescent ink. It was a case of a practical joke going out of control exactly where that original plaque is but I can tell you where the fake plaque is it's in the Bancroft library catch you later bye